A new update to what's happening with Hawaii's Kilauea volcano. Amid all the chaos and the destruction and the destructive events between seismic events, eruptions, the lays, the plume, the ash, you name it, all the fissures, crackling. This area is said to be raining gems. Now these green gems are olivine crystals. This is a common mineral that is found in Hawaii's lava, but it's mostly found within the lava or mixed in in another form, and it's hard to find it in its gem quality. Now, when you go to a jeweler and it's in the gem quality, they call it peridot. And they're saying that when the volcano erupts, that it blasts apart this molten lava, and because of weight distribution, and uh, just the way that it comes apart, these small gems are able to rip free of the magma and they just free fall from there. They break away from the rest of the melt and they fall as these tiny gemstones. And there's several places in Hawaii where the beaches are green in color and this is due to the high concentration of these olivine crystals. Now, it's rare to find these things in gem quality. They say that, uh, that most of the Earth's surface is composed of this. They're saying that olivine is one of the most common minerals below Earth's surface, like right below the top. But it's quite hard to find it separated from the parent rock. And it's even harder to find it in gem quality. So this is what's going on now in Hawaii. And if you think about it, where you find diamonds and everything else. I think here in this country, the one place uh, that comes to mind in terms of a diamond mine, I think it's the only one open like it, it is uh, in Arkansas. And it is the remnants of an old volcano. And that's where they dig and they find all these different gems, including diamonds, uh, within it. So, you know, this is the process... This volcanic process churns up and kicks up a lot of these gems. People don't realize that, but this is a good example of it. I will leave a link. Until next time, it's been Dabu7. Peace.